Hallelujah. Somebody celebrate God wherever you are to this very strategic night. Command the day midnight prayer. It is a crossover night into another month. Please, you may be seated wherever you are. Another quarter like God's servant had declared last night. We have details on the screen. Ensure that you put a call across to your loved one and make them connect to what God is set to do as we transit from this month and this quarter into the next. Amen. We'll receive a couple of testimonies in this segment as we make progress. Testimony from Kugonza Fiona from Uganda. And um, she said, above only, that is my place. I was introduced to the commanding the day midnight prayer by the wife of one of my pastors, Mrs. Gloria, who used to call me every night and at times buy data for me until I got committed. That's evangelistic. Last year, December, I was passing through a very tough situation that I could not concentrate in school. So I tried to ask for a deferment since I didn't understand anything my lecturers were teaching. But I was encouraged by a few friends to continue with school no matter what I was going through. The whole semester I attended classes for three weeks but still couldn't understand anything. So as we did our end of semester exams, I knew very little about everything that was set in the exams. And at times I felt like fainting. As a person, I knew that I would get um, retakes, that's carryovers. I was sure of that. But on the 26th of this month, I connected to the Commander Day Minna Prayer and I had a testimony of Barrister Georgina from Port Harcourt who testified that her exams that was marked 12% got miraculously changed, got miraculously changed it to 75%. I told God, if you do such miracles, do it for me also. And I will come back and testify. Since the following day was the day our results were to be released. Brethren, God in his infinite mercy did it for me. I passed all my papers without, well, passed them well without retakes. I am too shocked at the workings of God. I give all the glory back to God. That must be a divine intervention. And um, someone also will keen to that. Amen. We'll need, the next testimony is from Brother OST from Kaduna State. And he said, Calvary greetings to the entire Command the Day Midnight Prayer family worldwide. I stumbled on the Command the Day Midnight Prayer on the 19th of January 2024. And I have remained hooked on to the program ever since. Brethren, the Lord is in this place. Ola, ola, ola. I had several encounters and divine visitations from this exalted altar. Before I joined the Commander Day Minna Prayer, my two visa applications were denied. Toward the end of January, in one of the nights, the senior pastor made a declaration that every visa embargo is lifted, and I shouted amen with a strong witness that I will be successful in my third application. On the 16th of February, my agent woke me up very early in the morning in a congratulatory call that my visa application has been approved. As if just that approval was not enough, uh, God in his characteristic way changed my three-month single entry visa to two years multiple entry work visa. Ele, 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 which kind God be this? I cannot take this for granted, though. I have returned to thank and praise the God of commanded the Day Prayer Altar. May God continue to multiply his grace upon you and the entire Commander Day Midnight Prayer crew for your good work. Wow. Amen. Incredible. Beyond his bargain. One single entry of three months changed to multiple entry, two years, work visa. Work visa. Give the Lord a big clap and a shout of praise. Hallelujah. Testimony from Ted in Abuja said, Good evening, Commander Day Midnight Good evening, Command the Day Midnight Prayer family. During the 26th March 2024, Command the Day Midnight Prayer, the man of God told us to rewatch the prayer session again during the day. I gave my brother my money for school fees, $1,150 to keep. When I came back from school, I asked him for the money, and he couldn't find it. We searched our bags, wardrobe everywhere, but still couldn't find it. Then he went back to the store he entered to ask if they saw the money and they didn't know where it was. He then went back later to ask again 
and the store staff took him to the manager. Then the manager told him to come back the next day, the next morning. That was on Thursday, so that they, they can check the CCTV. While all these were happening, I was watching the program again, as the man of God told us to do. Then the testimony of someone whose laptop bag fell down, and um, no one took anything from it, came up. In my mind, I shouted, this is a confirmation to my faith that, that the money will be found. So I decided not to worry and continued all I was doing. The next day, he went back to check the CCTV camera, and it showed him removing the money from his pocket, but he kept it back in his pocket. I told him to keep on checking that he would find it. Then thoughts of doubt came to my heart, but I held on to the testimony, knowing all will be well. To God be all the glory, later that day he called me and told me that um, he has seen the money and it, and it fell into his box. He didn't know how it got there because he didn't, he didn't remove it from his pocket. I just want to thank God because he has not failed me. God bless you, sir and ma. May God continue to do mighty things through you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Lastly, in this segment, Clara from Worry. She said, good evening to my above only family. I joined the Command the Day Midnight Prayer in February 2024. Since then, I have been trusting God to, to fight for me. Yesterday, the 29th of March 2024, while Dr. Paul Enenche was ministering, he said, conspiracy of death is scattered. Occultic manipulation will not work. That there's someone with a name, C, like Clara, that that satanic conspiracy over your life, conspiracy over your destiny and conspiracy over, over you is cancelled. I shouted, Jesus, this is me. I called my son and he, and he was dazed by the prophecy because for some time now, I've been receiving series of attacks in my dreams. On the 29th, I, I was having pains all over me that were inexplicable. But after the prophecy, I woke up just like a newborn baby. Very light, my heart filled with joy. I return all the glory and praise to God of Dr. Paul and Dr. Becky Anenche. This platform has blessed me and my family real good. More testimonies are loading. God bless you above. Only family, in the name of Jesus, who have a declaration to show. He the Give the Lord a praise, stand on your feet and let's celebrate.
Shout a loud hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please, you may be comfortably seated. What a mighty God we serve. We want to thank God for his faithfulness. God's servant will be giving you details later, but we'll bring you greetings from Uyo in Akwaibom State. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Mighty God. Amazing testimonies in the first segment that we just took now. We'll take a few more. Please wake up your friends, your loved ones. Wake somebody up. I know they might have celebrated uh, the Resurrection Sunday, very heavily with plenty of food, but they should still try and wake up so that we can cross into the new month and the new quarter in the presence of God. Praise the Lord. Let's go ahead. Testimony from Dr. G from Europe says, Greetings family. He wants to celebrate God for healing his left knee. He injured it in high school while being active in sports. The knee has been painful for about 14 years. He's under 30 years of age, but it felt like he had the knee of an elderly woman. Okay, so we're talking about a lady. So it felt like she had the knee of an elderly woman. During the March Worship and Wonders night, Dr. Paul kept saying, it is finished. Personally, she was tired of this pain. As the menstruation was going on, she suddenly realized that the pain in the knee was gone. Hallelujah. She started jumping during the praise and worship. She has missed doing this. This morning, she went to the gym as usual. The lounges and the squats she usually do that used to make the pain worse did not cause any pain in her knee today. Glory be to God, she is healed. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Mrs. J.E. from South Africa says, she has come to say thank you, Jesus, for his healing, for his healing power on her eye during the commanding the day prayer of the 29th of March. As soon as she turned on her television set in the room, Pastor Paul and Encher declared, dimness of sight, it is healed. And immediately she claimed it and was healed. Since almost the beginning of last year, she has been having this eye problem. It has been very irritating and not allowing her to focus on any object or read. She kept on scratching, but to no avail. She went to her optician to check her reading glasses, but it was becoming worse. Immediately after the declaration, the defocus, the constant itching, and the water dried up from that night till now, till eternity. No pain, no itching, no red eyes. She gives God all the glory. Hallelujah. Declaration attached. Dimness of sight, eyesight going down gradually. You know the way you 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 dim car headlight. You woke up one day and it just dimmed like that. It's a demonic attack. I command the full light to come back now. Somebody shout power! Power. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Yes. Uh I shared I shared Z from the city of Joss says. Above only, that is her place. Good morning, commanding day, midnight prayer, family. She can't keep quiet, oh, God is good and his mercy endureth forever. For the longest time she can remember, she has had the issue of bloated tummy, discomfort, and messing up the place when she takes milk-based foods and even milk itself, no matter what time of the day. She had to stop taking any because of how it can be embarrassing when in the public places. That's flatulence, I guess. Yeah, messing up the place by flatters. She got to find out later the issue was called lactose intolerance. She didn't know what to do about it, so she stopped taking milk-based foods or anything close to it to save herself the embarrassment and make it a prayer point, and made it a prayer point also. Sometime in January, during the commanding the day midnight prayer, after the personal supplication in which she still committed to God, Pastor Paul and Encher declared that someone suffering from lactose intolerance is healed completely. Ha! 
She was so excited to hear it mentioned. She claimed it sharp, sharp. She tried fishing out the declaration video, but she couldn't. She had to wait this long to ascertain and to check herself from that day. She began taking milk and other things and she has stayed that she had stayed away from because of that issue. And to the glory of God, she makes bold to say, God has done it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Nothing like bloated tummy or lactose anything anymore. It may seem like nothing to someone, but it is nothing. This is, this nothing is her big testimony. And she has come back to say, She's fine. No more bloated stomach. No more embarrassing moments and discomfort. Hallelujah. May God embrace you more abundantly. You will not miss it in Jesus' name. Amen. Declaration video attached. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. All right. I think we have one more to take. Yeah? Okay. Sister Ify from Lagos says, Good evening, Commanding Day Midnight Prayer family. She started attending the Commanding Day Midnight Prayer on the 16th of March after her senior brother invited her to the program. Invite somebody tonight. Senior brother, invite your junior brother. Junior brother, invite your senior brother, your senior sister. Let somebody also be blessed. Let's go on. To the glory of God, a word of healing came for their sons, James and John, on the 18th of March. Since then, it has been one testimony to another. James and John are siblings, and from infancy, they both suffer, suffered similar allergies that made their early developmental stages very challenging. Things such as breathing, feeding, and sleeping were serious issues. Oh dear. These allergies made visitation to the hospital a norm and constant medication the order of living. They are both referred to as twins whenever they visit the hospital as their symptoms were the same. Asthma, rhinitis, skin itching, and reactions. Even though they were not twins, they have come to give God all the glory for putting an end to those traumatic experiences that they've been experiencing for nine long years. May his name be forever glorified. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Declaration attached. James and John. Mm. I see two people, James and Ben John. Hey! Whether they are friends or they are siblings. Oh my God. Or his father and son. Wow. Yes. Siblings. John. The issue is that same condition. There is a condition of allergy. Same condition. When the I said an, an of allergy, allergy of it, concerning the skin itchy condition or allergy of rhinitis, or sinusitis, ah. allergy of asthma, allergies, allergies or food allergies. There is allergy with this same. You know that both of you have the same condition. Ah. Tonight, in the name of Jesus, it is ah. cleaned and cleared out in the name of Jesus Christ. What is, what is this? Stand in celebration.
Matters are getting very, very serious. James and John. Whether they are friends or whether they are siblings or father and son. The same allergies, the same skin, the same rhinitis, the same asthma. Wow. It's incredible. Lift your hands and let's give the Lord the praise. It's frightening. Frightening. Scary. Wake somebody up anywhere you know them and just let them know that God is the God who tackled James and John is still here on this altar and it's going to tackle your case tonight. Amen. And importantly, we are crossing from one month to another, one day to another, one month to another, one quarter to another as a whole. Psalm 92 verse 1 to 2, we are going to begin with thanksgiving. It's a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord and to seek praise unto thy name, O Most High, to show forth thy loving kindness in the morning and thy faithfulness every night. First Samuel 7 and verse 12, he said, Then Samuel took a stone and set it between Mizpah and Shem and called the name of it Ebenezer, saying, He that has the Lord helped us. Hasn't the Lord helped us so far? Lift your voice and say after me. Say, Father, Father thank, you thank you for your mercy, for your, mercy, for your grace, for your grace. Help, help and mercy, and mercy. Throughout, the month throughout the month of March. Of March. Thank you, Lord, thank you, for, Lord. Your love for your love and faithfulness. And faithfulness. Through, the month. through the month. Be glorified, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Again, Father, Father thank, you thank you for your grace, for your grace help and mercy, and mercy throughout the month of March. Thank you, Lord, thank you, for, your for your love and faithfulness. And faithfulness. Through the month, be glorified, Lord, in Jesus' name. Go on ahead and speak to God. <laughs> Jikata ne pirete kusutu kupara tana la tana zania la tana za. Jeke pe mata kasu pala titi lipa na swala teni ne braga da shada da. E pata rapa katu satana la taya. Ili piti supara titi lipa tita la da babara sala la shabaya. Ili krasi anatilia barusa katilia prata na zala tana ba. Zero ali ali apara katu na la babara da 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 in Jesus precious name the Lord heard and answered us in Jesus name Psalm 105 verse 1 all the way to verse 2 oh give thanks unto the Lord call upon his name make known his deeds among the people sing unto him sing psalms unto him talk ye of all his wondrous works Psalm 150 verse 1 all the way to verse 2 praise ye the Lord praise God in his sanctuary praise him in the ferment of his power praise him for his mighty acts praise him according to his excellent greatness. Lift your voice and say after me and say, Father, Father thank you thank for you. diverse thank miracles, miracles signs, signs, and wonders wonder. experienced in our midst throughout the month of March. Be glorified, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, thank you for diverse miracles, signs, and wonders experienced in our midst throughout the month of March. Be thou glorified, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Go on ahead and speak to God. Jesus, precious name. Job chapter 9 and in verse 4, the Bible said, He is wise in heart and mighty in strength, who has hardened himself against him and has prospered. Somebody say, Nobody. nobody. Isaiah chapter 45 and in verse 9. Woe unto him that striveth with his maker. We bring out under a curse and into immediate defeat every devil fighting the purpose of God for your life and, your, and my life. Tonight, they are defeated in Jesus' name. Amen. Say after me, say, Father, Father we, bring we bring into defeat every enemy, every enemy agitation, agitation, opposition, opposition confrontation, confrontation, antagonism, antagonism and counteraction of your acts in our midst. We decree their total failure in Jesus' name. Say, Father, we bring into defeat every enemy, agitation, opposition, confrontation, antagonism, and counteraction of your acts in our midst. We decree their total failure in Jesus' name. Open your mouth and pray. 
Precious day. Our greatest secret into the next quarter will be the presence of God. Moses said, if your presence go not with me, don't take me. Our greatest secret is the presence. Exodus 33 and in verse 14, he said, and he said, my presence shall go with you and I will give you rest. Amen. Somebody go, going into the next quarter, the next month, with the presence of the Lord, it's not the next month, but this month, because we are in April right now. Give the Lord a big clap and a shout of praise. You are going with the presence of the Lord, shout the Lord as amen. amen. Isaiah 45, verse 1 to verse 2, he said, Thus said the Lord who's to his anointed, to Cyrus, whose right hand I have hold, to subdue nations before him, and I will lose the loins of kings, to open before him the two-lip gates, and the gates shall not be shut. I will go before thee and make the crooked places straight. I will break in pieces the gates of brass, and cut in sunder the bars of iron. Lift your voice and say after me, say, Father, Father I, step I step into this new day, new month, new month and new quarter, and new quarter with both the presence and the, presence and the leading and the lead of, the Almighty, of the Almighty to experience, to experience total, rest total rest and safety, and safety of, passage of passage in the name of Jesus. Again, Father, Father I, step I step into this new day and new month and new quarter with both the presence and leading of the Almighty to experience total rest and safety of passage in the name of Jesus. Go ahead, open your mouth and pray. Jesus, precious name. Amen. Psalm 84 and in verse 7, he said they go from strength to strength. Every one of them in Zion appeared before the Lord. Proverbs chapter 4 and in verse 18. But the path of the just is the shining light that shineth more and more unto the perfect day. And Genesis chapter 26 and in verse 13. And the man waxed great and went forward and grew until he became very great. In this new month, you are going forward. Amen. That amen can be better. Amen. In this new quarter, you are going forward. Amen. Say after me, say, Father. Father. I declare, I declare this, new this new day, this new month, this new, month, month, this new quarter, this new month, as my season, as my season of, divine of divine speed, of divine acceleration, speed, acceleration, acceleration, and drastic progress, and drastic progress all around, all around, all around, all around, all around, all around in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Again, Father, Father, I declare, I declare this, new day, this new day, this new month, this new, month, new quarter, new month, as my season of divine speed, acceleration, and drastic it, progress, progress all around, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Go ahead, open your mouth and pray. Let's go and 
The Lord heard and answered us in Jesus' name. Amen. Psalm 68 and in verse 19, the Bible said, Blessed be the Lord who daily loaded us with benefits, even the God of our salvation. Matthew 6 and in verse 11, he said, Give us this day, this month, this quarter, our daily, monthly, quarterly bread. Say aloud, Amen. Amen. And Isaiah chapter 1 and in verse 17, he said, But upon, upon my Zion shall be deliverance, and there shall be holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. Lift your voice and say after me, say, Father, Father I take possession, I take possession of, all of all that is mine, that is mine. in this new day, in this, new, this day. new month, this new quarter. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, again, Father, Father I, take I take possession of all, of all that, is mine, that is mine in this new day, this new, this new month, month, and this new quarter. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, go on ahead, open your mind and pray. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. The Lord heard and answered us in Jesus' name. Amen. Second Corinthians chapter 6 and in verse 2. He said, For he said, I have heard thee in a time accepted. And in the day of salvation have I so called thee. Behold, now is the accepted time. And behold, now is that day of salvation. If now is the accepted time, and he said, He has heard us in the accepted time. It means he's hearing us now. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. Lift your voice and say, Father, Father thank you, thank you for, hearing for hearing and answering our prayers, our prayers in this accepted, this accepted time. time. Thank, thank you, you for succoring us, us in this day of salvation. Of salvation. Be, glorified, Be glorified, O Lord, o Lord in the name of Jesus. Amen. Go ahead, open your mouth and pray. <laughs> In the name of Jesus. First Samuel chapter 2 and in verse 9, wake up somebody as it is time. He said he will keep the feet of his saints and the wicked shall be silent in darkness. For by strength shall no man prevail. Say after me and say, Father, Father we, ask we ask that you will keep, you will keep the, feet the feet of your sins, of your sins in this season, in this season and, and cause the wicked the and their wickedness and their to be totally silent, silent at this time. Oh Lord, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Of Jesus. Say, Father, Father we, ask we ask that you will keep the feet of your sins in this season and cause, and cause the wicked the and their wickedness the wicked to be totally silent at this time. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Go on ahead, open your mouth and pray. Oh, <laughs> 
In the name of Jesus, the Lord heard and answered us in Jesus' name. Amen. You believe that, shout the Lord and say, Amen. In this next quarter, every, pro every pre programmed altar that is what they programmed ahead of the quarter, we set them on fire. Amen. What they planned ahead, we set them on fire today. Amen. Joel chapter 2 and in verse 3, he said, A fire devoured before them, and behind them a flame burned. The land is as a garden of Eden before them, and behind them a, des a desolate wilderness. Yeah, and nothing shall escape them. In Acts chapter 28 and in verse 5, he said, And he shook off the beast into the fire and felt no harm. Whatever they have kept in front to harm you, we set them on fire today. Amen. Lift your voice and say, Father, Father we, ask we ask for the release, release of your judgment of, your judgment of, fire, of fire on every pre-program, pre enemy, enemy altar, or agenda, or agenda of vengeance, of vengeance destruction, destruction of focus, of focus unforeseen, unforeseen battles, battles, surprise attacks, bad news, news evil report, report strange disease, disease, or sudden death. Or sudden we declare them we roasted by fire, by fire instantly. instantly. Oh Lord, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Again, Father, we ask for the release of your judgment of fire on every pre program, enemy altar, or agenda of vengeance, of destruction, of focus, unforeseen battles, surprise attacks, bad news, evil report, strange disease, or sudden death in this coming quarter, in this new month. We declare them roasted by fire instantly in the name of Jesus. Go ahead, open your mouth and pray. In Jesus precious name. Amen. The Lord heard and answered us in Jesus name. Amen. The best thing that can happen to any of us is for God to usher our steps and help us to be where he wants us to be in this new month. Proverbs 3 verse 5 to 6. The Bible says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths. That shall be somebody's story this month. Amen. Psalm 37 and in verse 4. The Bible said, delight yourself also in the Lord, and he shall give you the desires of thy heart. Lift your voice and say, Father, Father I, commit I commit my life, my, life, my, time, my time, my all, all into your hands in this, day, in this new day, in this new month, in this new, month, in this new quarter. This new month, I ask I that you direct I my life unto your perfect plan and, and purpose and for me for in me. this season. Oh Lord, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Again, Father, Father I commit my life, my time, my all into your hands in this new day, in this new month, in this new quarter. I ask that you direct my life into your purpose, into your perfect plan and purpose for me in this season. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, go ahead and pray. In Jesus precious name. Acts chapter 13 verse 44. The Bible says, And the next Sabbath day came almost the whole city together to hear the word of God. That shall be our story very shortly. Amen. Lift your voice and say, Father, Father we, ask we ask for the sweeping, for the sweeping move, move of your spirit, of your spirit in, this in this season and through this altar, through this altar to occasion, occasion 
the salvation and discipleship of cities, of nations, of territories, of multitudes. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, go ahead and pray. Jesus, precious name. Amen. The Lord has heard and answered us in Jesus' name. Amen. Can we celebrate the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords? Celebrate. Let's go, 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 go. Shout out praise. Please be seated in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Wake someone up as we quickly, sharply step into test more testimonies and then very shortly go into personal supplication. Anyone who says God does not answer questions is a terrible agent of the devil. <laughs> Damilola Bernard from Lagos. Good evening, brethren. My first name is Damilola while my other name is Ajoke. I have been fully connected to this great platform since inception. Firstly, I want to appreciate God for the fire release on my prayer altar through the commanding the day minute prayer platform. On the 9th of March, 2024, my word came when the senior pastor declared that I could, Joke, it is not your time to go. Wow. I shouted amen before that declaration. I had already been booked for an elective CS to be conducted because I already had two CS prior to this conception. Oh, wow. I also had a dream before the senior pastor's declaration where I saw my mother telling me that one of my siblings who died many years ago said she is coming to visit me. I immediately told my mother in that dream that she should tell her my place is full of fire and that she should never try to come close. Praise be to God Almighty, I delivered my princess on Friday, 29th of March, and both of us are very fine. Ah, yeah. May God bless everyone sacrificing sleep to make the command the day midnight prayer a success. More grace in Jesus' name. Do you understand what is happening? Joke, it is not your time to go. She has done CS twice, pregnant again, and then 
elective CS. The devil was planning that around that time. Then the, the mother told her how the mother told her in a dream a dead sister was coming to visit her. Oh, no spirit of the dead will visit you. Now let's hear the declaration. In between the name J O K E, Mahustifra Kodagidi, Yetafina Kakalakanana Shalala, you shall leave. You shall leave. You shall not be cautious before your time. Wow. You shall leave. It is not your turn to go. In the name of Jesus, it's not your turn to go. In the name of Jesus, it's not your turn to go. In the name of Jesus, it's not your turn to go. Your mother has lost some like two. Wow. It's not your turn to go. Wow. In the name of Jesus, everyone who has experienced loss in your mother's womb, room or in your father's house, and the devil is saying it's wow. your turn. Wow. I say it's not your turn to wow. go. The harassment wow. and the climate around you, I declare this over right now. Wow. Fulfill your days in the name of Jesus. The mother had already lost somebody or two, and it was one of them that was lost that was calling her to come. That was saying she was, oh my God. You will not, you will not be cautious before your time. In this month of April, it is not your turn to go. You shall fulfill your days. Shall the Lord say amen. Oh, this is the kind of God I want to serve. Give the Lord the praise and take your seat. Wow, 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 wow. Sister DJ Kogi State. Calvary greetings to this great family of God. I joined the command of the midnight prayer while I, while I was scrolling through my phone one of the nights in early November 2023. Since then, I've been addicted to it and I've been sharing the links to friends and loved ones. I've come to return thanks to God Almighty for the numerous answered prayers through the command of the name in our prayer. The most striking one is about my beloved sister in the Lord with whom I share the command of the name in our prayer link with. Every night, as we have been trusting God to heal her of the health challenge the devil brought her way, on the night of 7th of March 2024, hey, boom, her word came with undeniable accuracy. I quote, Queen Elizabeth is the name of the school where you attended. And the devil has put your life under a terror of affliction like a terminal disease, like a cancer. And you see someone like a friend or a relation or someone that is connected to you died of the same cancer. Wow. And the devil is threatening you of the same cancer. And the devil is threatening you now that you are going to go. I am anointed to announce to you, you shall not die. You shall fulfill your days. Hey! I went to the same school with her, oh brethren. Kai, Kai. This kind God, another one, no day. How could it be if not God? I am still in awe of the way God works. He used what transpired in the 70s. To pass the message of deliverance and healing in the now. Hey, which kind God is this? Surprisingly, Satan tried to use sleep to rob her of her miracles when her word of deliverance came. But thank God, I was alert and heard clearly the declaration. So, God used me to stand in the gap to receive her miracles on her behalf. What a God. That healing was received and established. Secondly, another healing came on me and i am not taking it for granted because i see god is interested in the very minute minutest details of the life of his children i have been expressing severe pains on my left car for some time now but hey on the 28th of command the name in a prayer attack bamming gilead prayer number 10 i quote oh bamming gilead arise and heal the heart hey hey the pains on my calf disappear till eternity thank you jesus god bless you and all my command the name in that family i am trusting the lord to return back on the altar with my full mega testimony in jesus name can i understand this testimony so she has a friend that went to queen elizabeth school who has a terminal disease and the friend was not was not awake when this prophetic word came and the word was exactly accurate for the friend who was having a terminal disease because she watched somebody who died of the same disease and the Declaration was received and established and the healing was done. That's what we are hearing. And that the event is in the 70s, which means they went to that school in the 70s. Wow. All right, let's go. Queen Elizabeth attended 
clap and a louder shout of praise everyone that is having a transfer of affliction a transfer of fear i declare today that transfer is returned back to hell you shall fulfill your days in jesus name let's go to the next one henry spain wow good day commander day midnight prayer family i was introduced to this prayer pr program by my wife and it has been a blessing to my family and i Having seen God use his servant, Dr. Paul, Pastor Paul and Nature to pray for people and give prophetic words, words of knowledge concerning their situations, and many also coming back to testify, attaching the declaration videos as evidences, I was moved to ask God to remember me too. I've been experiencing dreams of battles and limitations in my life, and I was sure the enemy wanted to put an embargo on my life financial-wise. I started, it started manifest as a conspiracy in my place of work, and also, I woke up one morning from a revelation and told my wife that our marriage is under attack by the enemy. So I embarked on a personal prayer and fasting, telling God to come true for me, that I needed a word from him. To my greatest shock, God remembered me indeed and put my word in the mouth of his servant on the command of the day in my prayer of the 8th of February, 2024. While the man of God was ministering, he spoke in tongues for a while and then said, wow, 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 I see a man. That has a name that starts with the H, and your date of birth is the 16th of April. He spoke expressly about the three things that I have been experiencing, and above all, my name is Henry, and 16th of April is my date of birth. Indeed, God is great, and I'm so glad God came true for me at last. He answered my prayers. The wicked conspiracy was turned into foolishness. The embargo lifted, and peace restored to my marriage. May God continue to bless the man of God, his family, and the commanded day prayer team. God brought about this program for people like us. Thank you. Declaration attached. I see a man that has a name that starts with a H, and then your, 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 your date of birth is the 16th of April. I declare today, every satanic embargo that is placed on your life, that embargo is lifted. Every attack on your marital destiny, I declare it is broken. Hey! The conspiracy is broken. The conspiracy is broken. The conspiracy is broken. Now who shout at the name of 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 the name Good day to the entire commander day midnight prayer crew. I want to testify of the goodness of God in my life and family. I joined the prayer altar early January 2024 and ever since then I have been following up on Tuesday this week. I was in the kitchen preparing food at around 4 p.m. My two children were in the living room pray, playing and my husband was upstairs. We live in a one-story building. So I came to the sitting room and saw both children playing and I decided to go and clean up the kitchen. Just three minutes after I stepped into the kitchen, my first son of five years ran inside and shouted, Mommy, Mommy, Kimberly fell down. I ran into the living room and saw that my little girl of one year had gone outside and put her head through the protector, then slipped and fell down from the top floor. Jesus. Hey! I ran downstairs and saw her lying flat on the floor, crying she couldn't move. I carried her and rushed out to take her to the hospital. I called my husband while on the road and we rushed her to the first hospital where they told us they can't attend to the case due to its severity and referred us 
to the general hospital. We got there and they told us to go and do a full body scan to know where to begin treating her and to know if she sustained any internal injury and damages. We rushed there and she was placed inside the machine. My husband was scared when I told him nothing will happen to my baby. I have commanded my day, therefore, no evil report is permitted. Hi! I went outside the building and knelt down and started calling on the God of Pastor Paul and Enchi and God who does testimony every day on the prayer altar. Before I could finish my prayer, the doctor called us to come take the baby and told us that we are so lucky nothing happened to her. There was no internal injury. We should go to the hospital. Let them just keep us under observation for 24 hours. Hey! Ola, ola, ola. A baby of one year old fell from a story building and did not sustain any injuries. Ah! This can only be God. Everyone around me is still surprised of this miracle. Indeed, God can never fail. He doesn't know what it means to fail. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I am forever grateful. Picture. Ah. A baby of this size fell from the story building to the floor and nothing happened. Jesus. When I don't know what to do, and I look up to you, are the God who can never fail. Let's celebrate. Want to go? Start. clap and a loud shout of praise. Are you excited in what God is doing on this altar? Amazed and in awe. Go on your knees before God and let's appreciate him. Successful exit from the month of March and successful entry into the month of April. And then appreciate him for the testimonies we've, we've heard and then personal supplications.
Can we all stand up on our feet? Lift your hands and worship him. Honor him. And just begin to receive today what God has in store for you. Lift up your hand. I welcome you into this fourth month. Welcome you into this fourth month. The month opens up for you. It is coming with speed. It's coming with acceleration. It's coming with drastic progress on every side. The definition of the month was what we prayed in prayer number five. The definition of the season. Divine speed. Acceleration. Drastic progress all round. Everywhere the devil had halted your journey. Hey! That satanic break that was applied on your life's journey is hereby uprooted and removed in the name of Jesus. God is bringing systems under pressure. Any system that has anything to do with what belongs to you. They have lost their peace, their sleep, and their rest until all that is yours enters your hands. In the name of Jesus. Clarity of hearing. Clarity of seeing. Clarity of knowing. What God wants you to do in this season, that is your portion. I feel a very, very heavy weight and burden to tackle this particular season very drastic. First quarter has already passed. Thank God for all the multiplied testimonies we have heard in the first quarter. But second quarter can, will not just pass 
this fast. That is every single day of this quarter, something drastic, something explosive, something mind-blowing, something unusual. There are many people, what God will cause you to see in these three months, April, May, June, you have not seen in the last three years of your life. You have not seen in the last 10 years of your life. In the name of Jesus. Tomorrow, God told Elijah, eat and drink for the journey is far before. You are going to take a communion for the journey. But tomorrow also, I want you to, to bring out an expectation for the quarter. Father, before June, April, May, June, June ending, I trust you for this. I trust you for this. And also the month of March. Right, put it in writing. Just now while I was praying, I saw women bringing and presenting baby cloth. So make that available tomorrow. Baby things. And anybody, whatever you have, wedding points of contact for those trusting for the fruit of me for marital establishment. Business documents. It's not necessarily an impartation service, but it is power for the journey. Power for the journey. In fact, energy for the journey. Somebody say aloud, amen. Lift your hands high. Father, thank you for tonight. Thank you for what you are doing in our midst. And now somebody's right here is opening. UDO is inside that name. The ear is open on the right ear. It, okay, pain in the ear actually. In the name of Jesus, I declare that pain gone. And whoever else with the same name, with an ear that is not hearing well or clear at all, in the right ear, I declare it open right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. There is a left eye pain that somebody has and it is a glaucoma. I take authority over that glaucoma. I command it arrested in the name of Jesus. Somebody shout the loudest amen. I take authority over that spirit of inheritance, ancestral transfer. What came from your mother, your father that is trying to attack your destiny. I'm speaking to someone here today. You won't have the marital failure of your mother. You won't have the financial crisis of your, fa of your family. You won't have the afflictions in the body like your mother. I'm speaking to a particular E right now. In the name that is above every name. Every, every, every family pattern. Negative cycle of your family, of your mother, of your father's house. Is broken in the name of Jesus Christ. There are many devices in the heart of a man. On the counsel of the Lord that shall stand. You won't repeat the failure of your father's house. You will repeat the failure of your mother in the name of Jesus Christ. I take authority over tumors. I take authority over Kaposi sarcoma. I take authority over every other form of tumor. Every cancer diagnosed, I cause it to dry to its root. There is a certain ugoji that is battling with a particular kind of tumor that has inside it what they call spindle cells. I don't, I, 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 I don't know where you are, whether they, it is malignant, that is cancerous, or benign or ordinary tumor, but it has spindle cells in it. And I'm sure you understand what I'm saying because the doctors may have given you a, a histology report. I take authority over that affliction. I cause it to its roots dry in the name of Jesus. Live and fulfill your days. In Jesus' name, somebody has been healed of a right kidney condition. I declare the kidney is whole right now. In Jesus' precious name. I, I suddenly heard the name Toledo. T-O-L-E-D-O. -E Looks like the name of a place. In North America, in America. God is visiting you in that location. I see you in isolation. I see a cloak of depression head bowed. I don't know what, that, what the loss is. But there is a visitation right now. Devil is also trying for you to lose your house or your mortgage or whatever. In the name that is above every name. Jesus Christ the resurrected Lord. Jehovah is turning around your captivity. Somebody give the Lord a turn around shout of hallelujah. Everyone here today with any climate of depression, every climate of discouragement and despair, 
Oh no, I've been trusting God to do great things for me. First month has passed, second month has passed, third month has passed. That devil is a liar. I declare that depression destroyed. I declare that despair destroyed. I, Hoshana Magalaya Dagaga. Angela, I take authority over that depression, over that despair, over that, that thoughts of death. I curse it. Return to hell in the name of Jesus. Lift your hands and give him the praise. Thank you, Master. The spirit of trying and failing is over. Do not us. Just standing like before it, a door. Kept on knocking. Kept on writing a particular exam. Kept on making a particular attempt. And you kept on getting frustrated. Not that you are not brilliant or intelligent or talented. But it's a demon of limitation. And I speak this to everyone in that category. That demon of limitation. Fight in your life. Today, the yoke is broken. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. On this first day of the month, can you afford to do another seven, seven hours? of Just to kickstart the month. Another seven hours of waiting on the Lord. Will you do it? Just go ahead. Get it done. And then, let's present before God energy for the journey. Present before God the things, the, 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 the plan, the, the program, the, the agenda for the next one, for the next quarter, for this next month. Just present it before God and you will see what God will do for you. The Lord showed, told us yesterday, within the first seven days of April, there will be multitudes of job openings. How many of you heard that yesterday? As they are happening, I want, want to hear the testimony. Just keep on bringing them in. Before the first seven days of April is out, what was not possible will be made possible. Anywhere you are today, watching this and in need of surrender to Jesus, place your hand on your chest and pray after me, Lord Jesus. I am a sinner in need of your help. Come into my life and make me a new person. Today I have decided to follow you, Lord, and no turning back. Forward ever, backward never. Blessed be your name. In the name of Jesus. Say, Lord, amen. Let us know you pray that prayer. Let's get your details. And the rest of us, please your stretch your two hands. I profess upon your hands. I declare that your harvest will look for you. From the north, the south, the east, and the west. And all that is yours, no devil shall keep back. In Jesus' name. And devil to be at the command day later today. Online givers, go ahead and give today. Midweek service is communion of escape and the oil of preservation for the month of April. And then the workforce meeting holds on Saturday and Sunday is the blessing Sunday. And then by the time we finish this week and enter into next week, we are already in the week of the United Kingdom Conference. I'm sure I'm right. Yes, we are in the week of the UK conference from the 11th, Thursday, and 12th, April. Ensure that you register this week. Don't wait till next week. Register this week. Register your friends this week. Register your loved ones this week. You don't know how to go about it. Details are on the screen on how to go about it. God bless you. Somebody say a loud amen. Lift your hands and give the Lord the praise. Go forth and break forth. Can I hear a louder amen? The Lord bless you, keep you. Cause his face to shine upon you. And be gracious unto you. Again, wherever you are, you are in need of surrender to Jesus. I'm still, I'm done, I've done it before, but I'll do it again. Pray after me and say, Lord Jesus, come into my life and make me a new person. Today I have decided to follow you, Lord, no turning back. Forward, ever, backward, never. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Send us details and let us know you prayed the prayer. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow. Celebrations. Let's go. Thank <music> you.